This is question number 18. We're told the cumulative frequency graph shows information about the times 80 swimmers take to swim 50 metres. So we have a cumulative frequency up to 80 and the time in seconds up to 100. In part A for one mark, it says use the graph to find an estimate for the median time. So we have 80 swimmers. I'm going to take the reading off of the 40th. So if I run a line across to the curve and then drop a perpendicular down, we can see that that value is going to be 68. It's not hugely clear on the screen, but in the exam, of course, it will be a lot clearer. So that's going to give me 68 seconds. And for the one mark, I can just write that down. We're now told a swimmer has to swim 50 metres in 60 seconds or less to qualify for the swimming team. The team captain says more than 25% of swimmers have qualified for the swimming team. In part B, it says, is the team captain right? You must show how you've got to your answer. The question carries three marks. So if we first look at 25% of 80, so I'm going to write this down here, 25% of 80 is going to give me 20. So all I'm going to do in the first part is just write that statement. What I'm now going to do is locate 60 seconds on the graph. I'm going to run a line up from 60 seconds and we're going to meet the curve. I'm then going to read across and that looks to be 28. So I'm going to write on here that that is going to be 28. So I'm now just going to simply write on this part that 28 is greater than 20. So 28 is greater than 20. And I'm going to use the therefore symbol, therefore the team captain, the team captain, and just jotting this down, the team captain is correct. So that will now give me my three marks. The team captain is correct. You'll get uh, one mark now for some form of showing what you're doing on the graph. You'll get one mark for showing that the statement 25% of 80 is 20 and then making a conclusion. That should be the mark distribution on that question. OK, it now says for these 80 swimmers, the least time taken was 28 seconds and the greatest time taken was 96 seconds. In part C, it says use the cumulative frequency graph and the information above to draw a box plot for the times taken by the swimmers. The question carries three marks. So let's go ahead and put this information on. So what we're going to have then is 28 and 96. That looks to be 30. So if I now put on 28, that is just there. Again, the accuracy will be questionable as it's quite hard to see from here. So this looks to be 96, and that is going to be the greatest time. We know that the median from our estimate earlier was 68. So if I put that one on, we've got 70 just here. That looks to be 68, so let's put that there. What we now need is the upper and lower quartile. So with our 80 swimmers, I'm going to go ahead and find the upper quartile. So if I just read across from the 60th and then drop this down, we will see now that that is going to drop and land at the point just here. And that looks to be around 76. So let's go ahead and put that one on. And we can also go ahead and put the lower quartile on. So we've got now the upper quarter, let's do that one, is going to be 76 and that looks to be this point just here. So we've got 70 and then we're going to have 76, that looks about right. Again, you'll find this easier with the actual paper. And then if we look at the lower quarter, we'll take that off the 20th person. And if we do that, just reading across now, let's go for the 20th and we drop this down and that looks now, let's have a look at that. That looks, if I get that bang on, let's just get that bang on, that looks to be just about there. And that's going to give me now 53. So let's go ahead and put that one on. That is the lower quartile. So let's put 53 on. That seems just there to be 50, so it'll be here. 
Okay, so let's just tidy this up and we will now complete the box plot. So what we're going to have then is the following. Let's do that. There is my box and then I'm just going to go ahead and put the lines on and that will give me my whisker. Okay, so let's put my whiskers over to there. There we go. And we can put those values on if we wanted. So if you really want and you want to write these on, we've got now 28, we've got 53, we've got 68, we've got 76, and we've got 96. So that gives us our three marks. I'm hoping that they're bang on again. It's all dependent on just how accurate I can see this. But as stated time and time again, in the real exam on the paper, you will see these.